Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Finally got cold enough for the ice to uh, hold its form. Is yeah, certainly this week going into the weekend ideal for that kind of setup. Yeah. Probably not the following week. So I have to take advantage of the cold while it's here. Okay. Certainly as it relates to natural ice, we're, we're building ice and thickening ice. But again, the following week, you'll, say, you'll see it in the 10 day, trouble, 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 trouble for ice. So we'll get there in just a little bit. Right now it's one in Cabot, one below in Newcomb, New York. A lot of single digits, some teens, mostly in the Champlain Valley, down the road, Killington six, Ludlow seven, Stratton nine. So it's a cold night. That's why what's coming tomorrow is a powder snow. There's no mixing. There's no wet snow in play whatsoever. Church Street pretty quiet right now. Feels like 10 with a south wind at seven miles per hour. So generally the radar is dry. A little bit of snow near Montreal and St. Lawrence County. There's some lake moisture there, but for most of us it's dry tonight. This is the storm that's coming north. The snow has started to our south in places like Connecticut, New Jersey, Eastern Pennsylvania, the Wyoming Valley there near Scranton. All of that snow comes north as we go along. It's not a powerful storm, but there's enough moisture for accumulation tomorrow. By the way, New York, Philly and DC, this is the biggest storm in two years. It's been a snow drought. What does that mean? Maybe two inches tonight. So you get the idea. This is no blockbuster, but for some it's the first snow in a long, long time. And for us, it's enough for slippery travel late morning through the afternoon. So 8 o'clock, little patchy snow south, not a big deal. Late morning through afternoon, though, that's the most widespread snow. That's really when the roads become snow covered everywhere. I don't think anyone is left out. And this snow is a pretty quick mover. So 5 o'clock, it's still snowing. And then by 7 or 8, it's done tomorrow. A little bit of sunshine, a little bit of lake effect snow for New York on uh, Wednesday, but generally for the widespread snow, this is it tomorrow, mostly in the afternoon. Big band of four to eight inches from central Vermont through southern Vermont, and then it's two to four for the Champlain Valley, maybe a little less than that as you get up towards the border with Canada and go west to Messina. Just as an example of how it adds up in Burlington and surrounding area representative uh, as well. 7 o'clock in the morning, no accumulation, under an inch at 11, and then after that, so like the afternoon especially, that's when we get to about 3 inches or so, maybe 4 inches. Then the cold reloads and builds and comes south uh, in a big way, not record-breaking, but in a big way for the weekend, particularly on Saturday morning when it'll feel like 10 to as much as 20 below zero. Actual air temperatures also sub-zero for a couple of nights and mornings there at the end of the week. The only widespread snow we've got in the forecast is tomorrow, though. So after that, it's drier for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes, some lake effect snow in northern New York on Wednesday, particularly near Saranac Lake. Most of us don't see that, though. And then uh, highs in the teens, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a couple of mornings there, single digits. Remember, this is the Champlain Valley, so you go in the mountains, it's a lot colder. Then the warm up next week, 30s, maybe a wintry mix in there. That's what I was alluding to earlier about the complications with the ice coming much later on in the forecast. Brian? All right, Tyler.